What a surprise. Wow. Yeah. What a surprise to see you in Israel. Yeah, well, you know, years. How does it feel uh, you get the sales that uh, you <laughs> cured Joy? That's the only thing a mother can do to her daughter is to yes. give her life. Yes, you know, yeah. she's the first case of uh, a mismatch cell, because yes. mother is a mismatch with a child. Uh -huh. This is the first case in the world that mismatched lymphocytes cured cancer. Yeah. And, and therefore she's an example for many more patients for the future to come, yeah. because we think it's a general principle that can cure a lot of other cancer oh, patients. Okay. That's why it's so important. And that's why I'm so happy that you're here. Of course, and we're, if it okay. were not for you, yeah. we wouldn't have any history now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now you're going to become a grandmother. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to be a, a grandfather. grandfather. <laughs> you're a grandfather, I see. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. I remember um, the reason why I sought consult, I think that is important. The reason why I sought consult in the Philippines was because I was bleeding from my, from my mouth for some reason. And I was feeling very weak. Uh, I couldn't go to school. My, my joints were hurting. And so we went to a physician who, after a series of tests, told me and my parents that I had blood cancer, which is leukemia. I remember they did not specify which type of leukemia I had. It was only confirmed when we went a week after to the United States. And from the airport, I was immediately brought to the emergency room of UCLA in Los Angeles, California. And there, after a series of bone marrow tests, I was told that I had leukemia. I had chemotherapy, and I believe I had two. I had two chemotherapy, uh, which was one lasted, I think, for a week, and then after which I stayed in the hospital for two more weeks then sent home, but then would again come back for another round of chemotherapy until I was said that I had a remission, which was, of course, very good news for me. And, but then that was only a short, uh, <laughs> short stint because after two months, after two months, they, I again had the symptoms, which was similar to the first one that I had, and then after a few days, they said that I had a relapse. And they were very frank that they said they felt like if, it, if they were to do another round of chemo, just chemotherapy, then I would again have a relapse. So they were not very convinced that just the chemotherapy would cure me. And so we've, they suggested a bone marrow transplant and all that, but unfortunately... But you had no match donor? No match donor. We went through the whole registry of the U.S., the bone marrow registry. We had all our relatives tested because they said that the match is most likely going to be from the family yeah. or from the same race. Yeah. But in the U.S., they also had a specific one for Asians where Almost a million people were registered, but I still couldn't find a match. And so the closest then? one they said was my mother. And so it was then that my doctor suggested you. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, as you heard, Joy uh, came to us after exploiting uh, every known anti-cancer modality. Unfortunately, uh, her disease came back. And uh, since uh, there was no matched uh, donor available for a regular transplant, it was obvious that something special had to be done in order to overcome this uh, resistant uh, blood cancer. And actually, she was the first case where we applied a new method trying to use intentionally mismatched lymphocytes, in this case, obtained from her mother. We generated killer cells from her mother in the laboratory, uh, reasoning that such killer cells will circulate in Joy's blood, kill residual cancer cells, and assuming that the number of cancer cells were still uh, controllable, not too high, they might kill all of them and cure her. Uh, we also activated mother cells that went into her by continuous administration of interleukin-2. It's a biological agent that can activate killer cells and maintain their killing capacity. And 
thank God, in the past 14 years, not a single problem, not a single drug, never a problem, completely cured. She is the first example of cure of cancer despite resistance to chemotherapy by intentionally mismatched donor lymphocytes using mother nature killer cells in order to kill cancer cells despite resistance to chemotherapy. I've never had any treatment since then. No medicine, no, no tests, no nothing. So I'm now 26 years old. <laughs> I am married and I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm giving birth in January. I'm very happy. I'm very blessed. And uh, this whole, uh, the whole thing that happened to my life is a miracle to me because I never thought that I would live long and not to mention I'm also a doctor <laughs> so I was able to fulfill all my dreams and I'm just very very happy <laughs> and um, I owe it all to, to Dr. Slavin who is God's miracle for me who helped me um, achieve what I want and I know I have a long way to go and so this interview is uh, something that I really want to do it's my way of helping people and so I guess the learning lesson for this is just to really want to be want to live yes it can be a sad story but in the end it's always a story of a miracle story of hope and so maybe through this, uh, I'm able to help you and uh, so get well to all of you and you're all in my prayers. That's it. <laughs>